Hey, what is up you guys? We have an exciting episode for you today. That's right, we finally get to see what is hiding inside the mysterious modded community center. If you're new here, welcome. We are currently exploring over 100 mods, and if you did not see the previous episode, make sure to click the link in the description to go check that out. Finally, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment because it took me forever to put this all together. Now, into the video. Okay, I forgot to mention last time that we have a mod that actually makes the TV show what the weather is and what the spirits are feeling and then if there's a recipe it'll tell us what recipes are there to learn today so that will always have it in the text chat and i'll always know my luck okay good the plants are starting to grow and we have a letter so i forgot to mention that the characters have over a hundred lines of added dialogue so we should ha see a lot change there and also, we have quite a few events added um, for all the new players and the older players. So things should be a lot more interesting. I'm going to keep a focus on the new content throughout the series. And I might skip over some of the older content. Because I know if you're watching this series, you most likely have played the game before. Or have seen a regular series before. But there's still a lot of the game that I haven't even seen myself. I've played one playthrough before. To be fair, I played that playthrough for over 80 hours and made it to year four and had finished and had finished most of the game. But still, there are some things in the regular game that I have not seen and will be interested in. So, I wonder what's going to happen with that waterfall later in the storyline. I might be able to cheat my way through this because I can swim across. And I can see some of the secrets right there. But let's go ahead and stick to how this place was made to be viewed. And I won't head into that area yet. And I'm going to pick my shell back up. Give that back to me. Another thing that I thought would be helpful with the roses is that I can give them out as gifts to the villagers and they will probably like that a lot because it's a flower. And we'll have a constant source of universally liked gifts. When I exit the path directly to the right of my farm now, it leads to this trail at the bottom. And then when I head to this path to the right, it leads me to here, up above my farm. And now let's check out the bus stop. And actually, let's put some of my stuff down and get some more forageables. So we'll be ready when we get to the community center. I'm surprised all those were the same quality, but I guess since I just started the game, that makes sense. I haven't leveled up my skills yet. Oh, and there's another thing to mention. My skills. You can see now that I actually have two cooking skills. I did not know about that until just now. Um, I guess I have, I because I know I downloaded the cooking skills mod, but I think I also got a like more cooking mod that added another skill for it. So we'll see what happens there. Maybe when I get these professions, I'll get two professions. So we'll see, and I'll try to figure out which cooking skill belongs to which mod, so that I can give the mod makers credit as they deserve oh and another thing to highlight we have the cjb item price i think that's what it's called mod so we can see how much each each item sells for and where's my chest hand? oh yeah i put it outside but let's check out harvey's house see if there's any updates there nope Looks like Evelyn's in there, so it'd be a good chance to meet her. But, let me see if they'll even let us in. Okay, not very safe that they let us in the examination room, but it's okay. Nice to meet you, Evelyn. Looking great with those, with that bling bling. Ooh, there's a new animation. Stink animation. That reminds me, actually. Um, if I can go to the cheats menu just to show that you they have brand new animations okay i didn't know this was a thing um but they have some brand new animations 
so that when we fish them up, they'll look a lot cuter. I don't know what this is either, can to fish. I can't go there till after 5 p.m. What's this gift? No idea what that is. It's up here. Oh, we need to head up to Susan when that opens up. I believe it, the spa area doesn't open up for a few days. Uh, what else? Who else is there to meet? Already met Marlin. His area has moved to down here now. So it's more easily accessible. I don't know if the time change happened at all. Haven't been in the building, so they won't give me any information on it. Yeah, so let's just start heading... Let's head down to the right. Oh, there's some new characters inside of the Adventures, Adventures Guild. I remember that. Gil's old. Oh, no, what? There was a new character that was standing right here when I was testing the mods. I have no idea where he is now. But I guess maybe he'll show up later. And the Willy scene. I appreciate how Willy's new outfit shines through in this cutscene. Yeah, 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 you're gonna give me your old fishing rod. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay. At this point, I'm kind of just clearing land and waiting for the community center to open back up. So, uh, let's head back up. Did that count as meeting Willy? I'm not sure. Who is still missing? Okay, so we need, still need to meet Haley. I don't know why she's wearing that hat and goggles and why her animation looks like that, but okay. We need to meet Clint, but his shop's already closed. George. He's kind of like the old characters, actually. I have no idea who these two people are or how to find them. Let's see. Social or map. Where the heck are they at? Not on the map. I see um, Pam still using the river as her own little litter box over here. Wait, what is this new area? Oh, I hate how they have so many gardens everywhere because it's creating competition for me and it's also annoying because I can't pick those crops. There he is. Hello. The first few days in this game are always just meeting people and then sleeping because you're exhausted from trying to clear your land. And it's kind of annoying. It'd be nice if they added a little more content at the beginning of the day or at least did something... Or, like, speed it up the time before you get the community center. Okay, and then that's the end of the day. Welcome on this beautiful, rainy day. I was looking at these prices, because the prices on these objects aren't lining up with what the wiki said. On the wiki, it says Shell sells for 50 gold, but here it says it sells for 52. I'm looking up the daffodils this yeah the daffodil see what's up with that and then the daffodil according to the wiki sells for 30 not according yeah according to the wiki it sells for 30 um with no star but it currently says 28 to sell each so i'm not sure if the sell prices have been altered to a mod or what but we will see when we actually sell these items okay let's see if the community center cutscene is triggered yet nope not yet head back home now okay everyone welcome to a brand new day today we're going to hopefully unlock the community center and nothing yay time to go to bed at 9 a.m 
Okay, welcome to Friday, day five. We're going to see if the community center is open today, and of course, we can finally get parsnips day. Wait, Susan? My name is Susan. Lewis told me you're the new farmer in town. I'm trapped on my farm in the mountains, so I can't say hi in person. Hopefully the mess Jojo made will be cleared out soon, because I'm going a little stir-crazy. Can't wait to meet you and see how the farm is shaping up. Okay. Um, that is awesome, because Susan, I remember we can't reach, because she's in this area up here. So I'm glad she introduced herself. Uh, value Jojo customers. Our team members have removed the landslide causing- Oh, cool, so now we can actually meet her. Um, we apologize for inconvenience. Uh, they should give me some money. Oh, I forgot to show you before! Again, another thing I forgot to show you is all these cool new machines. We have an ice cream machine, a juicer, pepper blender, a uh, vinegar cask, soap press, espresso machine, extruder, a foreign cask, a grinder, like... Why yeast? This is just insane. So many cool things to show. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just drop two of those for emergencies, and I'm gonna check the price of these parsnips, because I want to see what happens if it matches up with the wiki. Yeah, according to the wiki, these are worth 35 but here they say they're worth 40 so when we sell them, I'm curious to if they will actually match up to that price. Oh, Helen. The little kitty's on the table. <laughs> oh no, there's so many cool... Cool. There's so many forageables together. I need to go and empty my chest. Okay, at this point it's 9.40, so might as well head up. Is she... The cat's drinking my water cup. Okay, that's fine, I guess. If she's thirsty, she's thirsty. I thought someone was drinking... <gasps> Community center! Oh, I thought someone was drinking a Maya water because I there was a lot when I left, and then when I got back to the table, there was a lot less. But it's fine. Okay, I'm really excited to show you guys this new community center because we're gonna have a lot of fun with the new items we have to pick up. I'm gonna skip through a lot of this dialogue because I think a I think you guys have already seen most of it. Also noticing to the left, this is the area that's usually filled with fibers, and now it's filled with gas. And I used to go to that field for fiber, but apparently I'm not getting fiber from that field anymore. You drink enough, girl? And if you have not seen this game before and you want to read the dialogue, feel free to pause and read it. I'm just not going to read it because I feel like most people have read it. Community Center O looks very... Like, pretty much the same thing as what it looked like in the original game. Junimos look the same. Oop, the cat's about to jump off. Get ready for the weight shift. There we go. Okay, it's time to... Actually, we can't even look at the community center today. We have to wait till we talk to the wizard tomorrow. Okay, let's take a look at the thingamaboop. The forest language. So tomorrow, we'll get the note from the wizard, and then we'll actually be able to take a look at what's in the community center. And then we wanted to also go up and visit Susan, right? What? I thought 
I thought JoJo removed the construction. Okay, I guess we're not seeing Susan or whatever her name is. Okay, what should we plant and grow? I wish it said what the final flower would sell for. But I guess we'll try some new... S I know that if it has a low price, it's not going to be worth a lot. But I want to try like a few spinaches. Let's get some parsley. I feel like these would be really good cooking ingredients. Um, onion seeds. Hmm, let's get some onions. It's weird that onion's not part of the original game. We don't have enough money for that. And I guess we'll get a single basil seed. Okay, guys. Today, we're finally going to get to see the community center and start our journey together as farmers. Oh, and I really miss the sprinklers from later in the game. Yeah, so the wizard's house was the first time I saw that everyone had their own gardens. And he has a giant cauliflower in his garden. And I tried to take it and I couldn't. And I was really upset because I thought I was going to get so many crops. What's that weird old bucket in the back of his house? I'll investigate that later. Magnus Rem Resmatius. A.K.A. the father of Abigail, keeper of the secret something marobs. Mm -hmm. You know it. What would you like to show me? This is where we get to a trip with the wizard. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Junimos are absolutely the best part of unmodded vanilla Stardew Valley because they not only harvest the crops for you, which makes your life 10 million times easier, but they are also the cutest little jelly beans in the world. Hello? I wish there was a way I can make this move by a little faster. Because as much as I love these little edited scenes, I kind of just want to see the new modded content. But I still appreciate these parts too. Haven't seen them in a while. I'm glad they have quick skip because some of those games where you can't just click to immediately fill all the text and you have to watch the text go by are the worst. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ingredients of the forest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go sniff the forest. Drink up the forest. Be one with the forest. And then we'll be able to go to the community center. Oh man, I should have cut down some trees. I forgot I get some energy from this. Okay, now this scene just takes forever. Okay, great. Now bring me to the community center. Or just kick me out. Okay. <laughs> okay, finally. Da -da 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 -da. I get to show you guys what this looks like. So check this out. Spring foraging bundle. I need 20 of these little wild horse radishes, 20 daffod daffodils, 20 leeks, 20 sp 10 spring onions, 99 salmonberry, and 20 dandelions. Isn't that crazy? Construction bundle, same thing. 20 hardwood, 99 stone, 50 wood fence. Like, it's gonna take a lot more time to complete these things. I'm super excited for this because the pine cones. I'm looking. I don't know why. I, I, I do know coral is only for the summer. Is that a thing someone can confirm? 
Yeah, but spring foraging bundle, just to get that, we need 20 horseradish, 20 daffodil, 20 leek, 20, 10 spring onions, 99 salmonberry, and 20 dandelions. So that's why I think maybe we should put together the resources and make, where is crafting, make this spring wild seed, because then I'll actually be able to grow some of those on my own farm. Meaning we'll be able to get more of them quicker. Because sometimes I find that it's really hard to get these affordable items. I don't think I can do that with the salmon berry. Um, the, I mean, not the salmon berry. The spring onion. But I should be able to get them from the south. So that's going to be our new goal. To assemble together this community center. And I picked up the trash from before. Okay, should I give it to Shane? No, I won't give it to Shane. Well, that's it for this episode, but do not worry. There is still a bunch of mods that we have not explored yet, and we will see in the next episode. If you liked it, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It means a lot to us small channels, because that's what allows us to grow and keep doing what we love. Thank you all. Bye.